Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Kills Michael Myers mask that I've completely rehauled for Peter in Germany. Enjoy the video folks. If you want to get in touch with me and order a mask, you can email me at deank333 at hotmail.co.uk. Enjoy the rest of the video. Subscribe, drop a like on it for me. I have some pretty brutal blood effects for the gunshot wound side of the face splattering onto the ear and parts of the hair For this mask and the one before it, it's two I've worked on now in this way with the hair where I'm trying to really replicate what it would be like for the hair to be in a situation with extreme heat and then be doused with water like when he walked out of the house and the fire, fire brigade dudes were hosing him down and then as it would dry. But it was a lot of work, two days of you know, work on the hair as well as working on the mask itself but I spent most of those two days focusing on the hair and making sure that it was you know, as good as I could get it obviously with the side that's more burnt that changes here now this is all sealed once I was happy with how it looked I basically seal the hair so it should arrive looking pretty much like this and there won't be much need for messing around with the hair trying to style it or any of that it's already done here's the back of the head which I also spent a great deal of time on because you don't often see it but I wanted this one to look like he'd actually, or the hair, I wanted the hair to look like it had been through everything it's supposed to have been through. You know, the extreme heat of the basement at the end of 2018 movie and the beginning of Halloween Kills, going from that extreme to being doused with water by the fire brigade, what would that look like? And uh, that's basically what I was going for here and went to great lengths to replicate it. It's also sealed, so it should arrive just like this, but it's really something you have to see in person, which is something Peter will be doing soon, and you can too, if you get in touch. Let's just try and turn it while filming here, so you've got the you know pretty much unburnt side but still subjected to extreme temperatures and little kisses of the flames around him and then we transition into uh, the more burnt side oh and I also make sure to put like bloody thumbprints and fingerprints from where he's putting the mask on and off so you got that too and a lot of charring and nastiness at the back there from just all the soot and the smoke so many details to look at we spent about four days on this one and I keep going back and adding extra details Really proud of this one. And all the goo and gore in this little crack here. That's a pretty big crack, to be fair. And all the little bits of stretchy goo. Some of the little details with the blood. All the detail on the hair. So many different techniques have gone into this. It's not just burning it. It's, that's only 
a small part of it really there's a lot more to it now with the kills here for me Just take a look at the front of the hair. As disgusting as it looks, it doesn't smell bad. Because I did have one complaint in the past from a kills mask. Customers saying that they uh, thought the mask smelt like burnt hair. And I explained, yes, <laughs> it probably will. Because that's what's happened. But this one doesn't actually smell. It's weird. No burnt hair smell coming off it, even though that's what happened. Oh, I, I know why. Because I sealed the damn thing, that's why. Yeah, I seal the hair now and kills. Lock it all down and uh, make sure that it stays in shape. Even the unburnt side is locked. But styled first, you know. So I wouldn't advise trying to comb it or anything like that. The comb's not going to work on this hair. It's not going to work at all. I actually use uh, this for styling all my Michael Myers hair on my masks. A little knife. Use, yeah, that's what I use for my fine details for the whole thing. Okay, so I'm genuinely going to look back at it for the first time on the mannequin with you guys. Uh, the whole time I've been working on it, it's been on the little head that I use to work on. Haven't seen it on the mannequin yet. I do have a feeling that this might be the best kills I've done. So let's see. There he is. Yep. That's looking good. Don't know if it's the best, because I've still got my personal copy, which I'm damn ha happy with, but I was not doing the hair the way I've been doing it lately on my personal copy like this. My personal copy just has the old way of doing it. This is way more intricate so this is probably yeah probably my best one best kills going to peter side view looking good and it's true what they say though the h40s are getting really bad with the quality like I've got another one here that I'm working on at the moment and it's just an awful friggin copy again I keep getting bad ones very 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 rare that I get an h40 come through from uh, mad about horror that's decent not them it's not their fault it's just the quality of the masks is getting shit but yeah, the kills is still really good for detail, as you can see. No fear of missing the cracks on this one. But, yeah, the quality of the H40s is dropping. And I hope that improves over time, because it's getting to be very difficult to rehaul them. But anyway, when I finish this H40 that I'm working on, I'll let you guys know. You know, I'll chuck up the pictures and do a video on YouTube and first come, first served.
Okay everyone, thank you for watching. So this mask is going to Peter and he's going to be taking pictures of it on uh, well, putting it on his Instagram account, which is really cool by the way. This is an Art the Clown mask I did for him. He takes some really good pictures. Uh, but that is uh, his account there. And yeah, that's the full name of the account. So you can find him. I think that's my H40 that I did for him as well there, possibly. Yeah, he's done some cool pictures, man. I really can't wait to see what Peter gets up to with this one. He's going to have some fun. I'm sad to see it go because this is definitely better than my personal copy. This is probably the best kills I've done to date. Well, I say probably considering the hair and the extra time spent on it, it's definitely my best one. So I'm glad it's definitely going to a good home. So get in touch with me if you want to get a mask, folks. I do H40s, Halloween kills, Halloween ends, Art the Clown. I have plenty of Art the Clown in stock. So let me know if you want one of those. I'll be doing some of them up soon. I'll let you know about them when they're finished. And I've got plenty of Captain Kirks here that I can convert into 78, the discontinued Captain Kirk masks. And yeah, hit me up. I've seen stuff like this, the kills mask, H40 is going on Facebook for 750, 800, 850. I don't even come close to that. And you're getting a hell of a mask if you get one from me. I mean, I'm super passionate and work very hard on these. And you don't have to wait too long either. Communication's good. And you get yourself a nice video. Usually when I finish one of these, I put it on YouTube just to catalogue it. So email me at deank333 at hotmail.co.uk to order yourself a mask. Thanks for watching. Drop a like on the video for me, folks. Share it around. Subscribe if you haven't done already. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.